everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I bought in Primark because I bought a hell of a lot of things. I ended up getting 11 things. Um, I went in for one thing. Yeah, I went to a big Primark, um, a little drive away from me, just because I'd seen they had some amazing new stuff in. And I managed to actually hold myself away from the home stuff, but the rest of the stuff was too nice not to get. Um, so yeah, I literally went in to get some little hoops because my hoops have gone gross. Um, and I came up with all this stuff, but I'm really excited to show you what they've got in the new in section. And also, I only picked up one thing in the sale, which I usually go hard on the sales. Um, but I managed to restrain myself and yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to show you what I got. But it only came to just over £50, I think for 11 things. That is decent, that's under £5 a item. So I'm very happy with that. So without further ado, let's just get on into the video. I'm not sure if I'm feeling my hair like this today, but I can't really be bothered to change it. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, but first up, let's start off with the accessories because I never get accessories. I'm not an accessories kind of gal, but I'm kind of ready to like use accessories for once because I never wear accessories apart from obviously earrings. I've got these little hoops in, they're Primark ones. Um, but Primark hoops, after a while, they do go a little bit like gross and green. Um, yeah, disgusting. So I just picked up some more. Um, but I never like to splash the cash on earrings because my hoop, my hoops, my ears don't react to things that aren't silver, like my ears don't care. I know some people, they have reactions, but my ears literally don't care. So um, yeah, I just get the Primark hoops because I always end up losing them anyway. And I think what's the point of spending like 50 pound on a pair of earrings to just lose them? So I just got these, they're both gold and silver. So they've got two little ones, gold and silver, two medium, gold and silver, and then two big, even though they're not big at all. Um, but I just really like these. They're 150, you can't go wrong. Six pairs of earrings. Do you know what I mean? Then, now, Kat Methan, yogi, influencer, amazing woman, wears this little like star necklace. It's so cute, it's gold, and it's like um, really dainty and small, and it's not like a big necklace. It's like just around your neck, but not quite a choker. Um, and it's just got little stars on it and I've been looking for one for so long and I didn't want to like spend a crazy amount of money because I don't know how much I'm going to wear it, if it's going to suit me, stuff like that. But I found this in Primark. This was only £2 and it comes with two necklaces which I was quite impressed about. And it's just gold and as you can see they're like a little, I don't even know how to explain it, kind of like little mandalas but not, but I just think that's so cute and I love the daintiness of it and I feel like it would look really, really cute in summer with a tan um, and like a bando or something, um, but I never wear necklaces like ever. But I've been looking for one of these for so long, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get it. Then there's also like one with the big one. I don't know how um, low down though that's gonna come, but I really love this, like it's so cute so cute two pounds i mean if i only wear it once do you know what i mean decent next up sunglasses now abby sat on my sunglasses a while ago if you don't know who abby is she's in loads of videos she's one of my best friends she sat on my sunglasses a long time ago and they were literally my favorite sunglasses ever it was an accident i don't care that much anymore um but they were like tortoise shell and like round and i've got a couple of other pair of sunglasses but they're just not the same they're not they either fall off my nose or they hurt my ears and I was like you know what I'm just gonna get some more so I picked up this pair which are just a cat eye black pair they're like matte black I am in love with these I love a good cat eye on sunglasses they're three pounds and they feel really sturdy like I don't know I just love them so much um, I feel like cat eye really suits me and I like big sunglasses on me um, and they're very dark like Primark sunglasses are actually really good I really love them and again 
if you lose them, it's three pounds. You're not splashing the cash. Like, as you can tell, I don't splash cash. Um, but these are category three UV protection. So they've actually got UV protection in, which is good because I know some cheap sunglasses don't. So they're good. I got those. Then I got on the hype of the small sunglasses. These ones aren't too small. Um, I hate the ones, and I hate is a strong word, but I actually hate the ones that are like this thin. Do you know the ones I mean? But these are like a little tortoise shell, as you can see. And they're just really cute. They're cat eye again. They were two pounds, these ones, whereas the others were three. But I kind of love them, like... And I kind of love them. If I was to wear them, oh my god, if I was to wear them like this, can you imagine? But um, I do really like them, and I feel like they'll look so cute with small fits. And they're also small, so they fit in your bag really easy. I've just noticed though, Primark sunglasses, they used to come with a little um pocket. What's the word? Case. But they're not doing that anymore. Whoa, okay. These are also a category three, so good eye protection. Right, accessories done, let's move on to the clothes. So the first thing I got is this dungaree dress. Now, the woman's given me all the hangers, I don't know why, um, but it's easy for me to show you then, I guess. It looks like this, it's just got that little like square neck, and then it's got tortoise shell buttons, which I think is so cute. And it just goes down straight and it's got little pockets. Now, I wanted to try one of these for so long. And this one was only £12 and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. I didn't end up trying on anything there because I just couldn't be bothered. Um, I tried on bikinis, but I didn't buy them. Um, but I just thought I can always just take this back to the local one to me if it doesn't fit. But I think this will be so cute with like a little white t-shirt underneath or a shirt, like anything really. Um, but I got this in a size 8, so I really hope it fits because that is my size. Um, but it's really soft denim, like really nice and like lightweight, so it's not too stiff. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. I'm not sure how I feel about this dress. The cut of it where it's quite thin here and then goes quite wide here it makes my body look a really funny shape. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know maybe if I need like a tight top underneath. I've just got a random white one on for now. Um, but the length is really, really good on me and the fit as well, like the size does fit really nice. Um, I'm just not sure about the cut. Let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, I can't decide. It is kind of cute. Hmm, let me know. Next thing I got was actually in the sale. I was looking at the sale rail and they didn't actually have that much stuff. Um, which was quite good to be fair because I love a good sale. Um, but bought these. Interesting. They are. These ones are an extra small, but I feel like all the, the smalls, which I sometimes am in Primark, were too big for me. So they're like this ribbed, funny material, almost like velour flare, like kick flare trousers. Can you see that? This is a really bad job of showing you. Um, and they look high-waisted and they were five pounds from 10 pounds. I was like, I'm going to give these a go. These are a size 6 to 8, so hopefully they fit. Um, and they've just got that little zip detail on the front. But I thought these were really cute. And for £5, I mean, I love a flare, so if these fit and they're comfy, I'll be keeping these. I am not sure about these trousers. <laughs> I like them, but I feel like the zip is a bit strange. And also the material... You can't see it, it's honestly, it's like velour, um, and they're also a bit short. So I think I'll be taking them back, but yeah. Cute. Okay, let me explain myself with this one. So, I hate cardigans on me. I love them on other people. Don't know what it is about me, but 
not a fan. However, I have a lot of midi skirts now. I say a lot, I have two. Um, but I love the look of like midi skirts and a cardigan. And I looked at this cardigan and was like, oh my God, that's cute. Now I've seen like Maddie and Mackenzie Ziegler wear these sort of things. I love their fashion sense. I know they're a lot younger than me, but their fashion sense is so gorgeous. So it looks like this, that's not done up, but it's got these tortoise shell buttons, which is what really drew me in. Um, they're these big buttons, there's three of them. Let me just do them up. And it's really soft and it's like a v-neck, but I think I could wear it either undone or done up. I'll have to see because obviously I haven't tried it on. I can't do that up one-handed. Um, but it's just got little cuffed sleeves and then it's just like a v-neck like that. It looks really like old lady-ish on the camera, but I promise you it's actually really cute in real life. I got a size four to six though, because the six to eight looked really big. Um, so I just got this size, but I thought with midi skirts, this will look so cute. So I'm really excited to try this on. And this was 13 pounds, which is really decent actually for a nice cardigan. Um, it's really thick and like cozy not sure on this look at the way it fits it's like baggy and then goes in um obviously if i pull it down but it just doesn't really look good um if i tuck it under it looks a bit better or maybe if i did it undone i don't know um if it's really nice on the arms and stuff and it's really warm um really nice material really soft not itchy but I just don't know. Hmm. Maybe I'll try it undone. I'm doing this in such a strange order. Next up, I went to the sports section. This is my downfall because I'm obsessed with sports bras. If you haven't already seen my sports bra collection on this channel, scroll down and watch it because I have some great sports bras. And guess what? I decided to buy another one. Wow. This was only £5 to be fair and... It, that's what drew me in. If it was like £10, I'd be like, oh no. But it's from the Alice Living Collection. I think that's how you say it. Um, I follow her on Instagram. I love her Instagram. And I have her top from the, her first ever range. And it's so comfy. So I ended up getting this. The cutest sports bra ever. I haven't bought myself a sports bra in literally years. So I thought I'd treat myself. It's just this, it's like mesh here, as you can see. Then it's just got this padding here, which I'll probably take out because I hate padding in sports bras. Um, and then it's got like two straps. It's got this one here. So it's like kind of like a square neck, I'm guessing, or like quite a high neck. And then another one here and one across. And then the back, this is the worst description I've ever done, sorry, is like that, it's just mesh and then two straps either side. I think for five pounds, that's so funky. And I got this in a six to eight and I hope it fits. Um, but yeah, Primark sports bras for me are really actually good. Like I have another one that I wear constantly and it's so supportive. So you know what, I was like, oh, I'll just get this one. So um, yeah, it's cute, right? But I thought for teaching, that would be perfect. This sports bra is a very weird fit. The arms are very like out, if you can see that. Like if you put them where they're meant to be, they like crinkle up, as you can see. It's really flattering though, like the shape. Um, and then the back, you have to pull really far down. Um, so I'll be taking this back, but I mean, it could look cute. Maybe I'll try and find a different size, but yeah. Mm. So next thing, bit random I know and also a bit chilly but bandeau I have a black and a white bandeau but they're age nine <laughs> from new look and they fit really really nicely don't get me wrong but they're not very long they're literally like this short because when I bought them in summer it was like 30 degrees and I was like oh my god I don't want to wear like a really long one so I ended up getting like really short ones but 
this one is look it looks like a really nice length it was three pounds got it size six to eight and i just thought this would just look really really nice in the summer like spring slash summer with like a jacket on and some jeans or something so yeah i really love bandos so that's why i got that not very interesting i really love this bando it's like a perfect length it's like long enough but not too long to the point where it like comes to the line of your trousers um i love this you also don't need to wear a bra with it because it's really really like tight it's a really good material i might have to get another one um but yeah overall i absolutely love this second to last thing i got is this gorgeous top so again i was inspired by the zigglers and it's just this little yellow top I love yellow in the summer for me. I love it with a tan. I think it's one of my colours. Like, you know, you have like your colour. Yellow is one of mine and orange um, in summer. Not now because look, I, it doesn't suit me when I'm pale. Um, but it's just got like that little detail at the front, which kind of like flaps open. And then it's just like that. I don't know how to describe that. And just like chunky straps. And it's just a crop top but i feel like with like mum shorts or mum jeans in the spring this will look really super cute um and it was only two pounds three pounds only three pounds ribbed love it and i got this in a four to six because it doesn't have adjustable straps and the six to eight looked really big um so yeah i picked that up and i actually love that I absolutely love this top. I obviously wouldn't wear it with this bra underneath, but I'm so glad that I downsized. Um, I just wear it with obviously a flesh bra underneath because it is a little bit see-through as you can see. Um, but I absolutely love this. Yay! Last but not least, you've already seen these in a haul, but I'm just gonna show you again. I got another pair of the black joggers in a size 10 to 12. They're five pounds. They're just the regular fit joggers. They are honestly the best joggers ever. No exaggeration. Like I'm being totally serious. They've just got a drawstring waist, cuff bottoms, and they are fleecy inside. Now I have a grey pair and a black pair. I'm currently wearing the grey pair. Um, and the black pair I've been wearing non-stop. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get another pair because I don't want them to just get rid of them once like, the jogger trend goes. Do you know what I mean? Because I've never actually seen these in Primark before. Um, so I just got another pair because I wear them so, so much. And they're perfect for like teaching in winter and just lounging around the house, actually going out in them. I love them. So yeah, picked up another pair of them. Obsessed. So that is everything in my Primark haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as I'd really appreciate it and it means a lot to me. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.